Hello friends, welcome to my channel, my tutorials. Friends, we are today we are going to discuss a very simple topic about English grammar and that is about gender. All of us are familiar with this word gender and still let us know about many things which are uh, unknown about it. Okay. So as we know, masculine and feminine gender, there are again two types of gender and these are known as common and neuter gender. So let us discuss each of the genders in detail. So we have seen, we have seen or heard or many times we have also felt about these words like masculine and feminine. Yes or no? If, we, if I say the word boy or girl, mother, father, so we, we know the differences about these words. So let us know what is a masculine, what is a feminine gender. So as a whole, gender is divided into four parts. They are masculine gender. Feminine gender, common gender, and neuter gender. Now let us discuss this in detail. The first kind of gender is masculine gender. And what is a masculine gender? Very simple. A noun that denotes a male is known as masculine gender. That means when we talk about boy, it is known as a masculine gender. We about males. This is known as masculine gender. Examples like boy, father. Lion, hero, these are known as masculine gender. Then comes the second kind which is known as feminine gender. And a noun that denotes a female is known as a feminine gender. For example, girl, mother, sister, daughter, these are known as feminine gender. Very simple. The third kind of gender is common gender. And here it denotes both about the male or female in common is known as common gender. For example, the words like parent. If I tell the word parent, if I utter the word parent, it may be a mother or a father. Yes or no? So it is used in a common. This word is used in common. So it is known as common gender. We use certain words in common. These are known as common gender. For example, the word child. If I utter the word child, it may be a girl or a boy also. Yeah, we are, but in common, we use the word child, okay? Teacher, friend, infant, enemy. So, these are known as common gender, okay? Doctor, if I tell the go to the doctor, and if you are unknown whether the doctor is a friend, uh, sorry, whether the doctor is a male or a female, so that is known as common gender. That means the words which you use in common is known as common gender, clear? The fourth kind of gender is known as neuter gender, which denotes things without life. There are certain things. It is not only living things exist, but there are also non-living things, yes or no. Those things which do not have life are known as neuter gender, and we cannot say whether it is male or a female. For example, the words like book, book is a non-living thing, pen, chair, all these are neuter gender. It belongs to the category of neuter gender. Okay, but there are certain words like tree. Tree is a living thing, yes or no, but still it is um, identified as a neuter gender in English. Okay, these are the four kinds of gender which I have discussed with you in brief. Now, there are certain rules about gender, changing genders from masculine to feminine, especially. There are four rules and let us know the rules properly. The first rule is that when we convert a gender from masculine to feminine, uh, we change the words. That means, for example, the word like father. This is a masculine gender. If we word, if we use this word in a feminine gender, what word will write? We'll use mother. We'll write as mother. So we have changed completely changed the word. Okay. So the first rule is that we, uh, while changing a masculine into feminine, we completely change the words. Another example is nephew becomes niece, king becomes queen, like this. So there are other examples also which I have given in the video. You just follow it. And I also want another many suggestions from you which you can tell me in the comment box. Then second rule is that by adding ES, certain words we become feminine by adding ES to it. Okay. For example, the word author, author becomes authoress. When it is a masculine, it remains otter, but when it becomes feminine, it becomes otteress. Horse becomes hostess. 
manager is a very common word and we think that when we use it in a feminine gender we also write the manager only yes we write also but the appropriate word for the feminine gender is manageress like this mayor mayoress poet poetess like this the third rule is that we have to change the compound word masculine of the masculine word of a compound word when you change from masculine to feminine for example boyfriend changes to girlfriend grandfather grandfather changes to grandmother you can notice that here the masculine words are changed grandfather father is changed into mother bridegroom here the word groom is changed and it becomes only bride in the feminine gender milkman becomes milk woman brother in law becomes sister in law so you notice that the compound words the masculine word of the compound words are changed while we change it from masculine to feminine okay then the last word that is a fourth uh, sorry last rule is that uh, we add a i n e and i x while we change from a masculine to feminine gender for example the word hero hero doesn't become heroes or any other word but it becomes heroine we add i n e to the masculine gender and it becomes heroine then the words like uh, sultan sultan becomes sultana administrator becomes administratrix so you can add any other many other options also many other suggestions to this rule and it's welcome always in my videos okay so this is the fourth rule of uh, changing a uh, masculine into feminine gender and besides these rules there are certain important things which are to be noted and these are like this that certain words like which uh, we can identify it by seeing whether it is male or female but still we use in comma we use these words as masculine or certain other words as feminine and let us know its uses the words like the sun summer winter time we use this word as um, words as masculine in the masculine form why because these words uh, denote strength or power and so it you know it uh, is used as masculine gender we do not say she, the son as she, uh, mean the, uh, she we say that he son is always um, yeah, identified as masculine winter time all these things are used as masculine gender then there are certain words like the earth nature autumn we use these words as feminine gender we, we use it in the fem feminine uh, gender form for example the mother nature we do not say father nature out we say it in a feminine gender form okay so these words denote about beauty gracefulness so these are used as feminine gender then the words uh, some there are certain words which are always spoken as feminine gender like the word ship we do not say the ship in the masculine form. We will say it as in the feminine gender. For example, the ship has lost all her boats in the storm. So we have never used his. So we have to remember these kind of words. Then color certain words like uh, which, are, which are collective noun in form and they denote living beings and they are considered to be in the neuter gender. For example, the word army. It is army is a word which denotes neuter gender it doesn't show whether it is masculine or feminine but it shows neuter gender okay so these are certain words which should be noted very properly and uh, if you have any other idea about the words certain words like this kind of words which are always in the use in the masculine or in the feminine form you may suggest me in the comment box so please hit the like button if you enjoyed my videos then share my channel with your friends and families and also don't forget to subscribe my channel and thank you for watching the video